What's good, Cancer? This is Soul here. And Cancer, we're going to look at some energies generally for you in the month of March 2023. So I'm doing something different. Format is different. I've said to you guys, if I mentioned it in your videos, any of your videos, that I wanted to do different stuff. So um, you see me on camera. And um, the only difference here is that um, you won't see the cards, you know, once they're laid down. But I am going to hold them up into the camera just to let you know when it's selected for you. And this month, we're using um, the Cosmic Tarot. Uh, I used this deck, I think, once before. So I just wanted a deck to uh, do these readings. And I just grabbed this one here. And we're going to go with that. No reversals, uh, Cancer. So let's get underway here to see what is going on here for you again. Once again, St. Pa Happy St. Patrick's Day to all the crabs out there who celebrate St. Patrick's Day. All right. Energies for my fellow crabs here, generally. All right, Cancer, let's begin. See what's going on here for us in the month of March. Well, we're going to start off very well because for some of us, it's involving uh, partnerships, okay? So it's either existing partnerships or partnerships that may come together and form in the month of March. Now, we're not just talking about romance. I said this was a general energy here, so we're talking about all things, romance, platonic, could be family, could be business. So whatever this lovers here means for you is the major arcana. And do regard all major arcanas that are revealed in your spread. Uh, they carry a lot of weight. Okay, so we start off beautifully with the lovers coming together in unity and harmony, peace, love, equanimity, you know, on the same page, um, seeing eye to eye with one another, all of the good stuff that falls underneath the lovers energy. Wow. Next card up is the, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, Cancer. Next card up is the tower. So, you know, I got to, <laughs> I got to talk about this tower. Wow. So the tower is uncontrollable energy, but because it follows that lover is, <laughs> you know, definitely will be taken down a little bit. But in the month of March, when you, it's not a love general reading. So you might want to consider that following the lovers that for some of you, that some of you may have an experience with some sort of dynamic sex, okay? Absence of the dynamic sex, there still could be arguments going on with, you know, family members, romantic partners, things that are, out are you know, are control. And I always tell you, when the tower shows up, you can't control it. Just let it ride out and see what happens. I always speak about inclement weather, earthquakes, always come to mind, some sort of shock and devastation, um, so anything could be uh, possibly coming up. Now, again, because the tower is here in your spread doesn't necessarily mean it is a situation where it's going to personally impact you. Always have to tell people that because, you know, most people freak out when the tower, the three of swords, nine of swords shows up in their spread. And then, you know, I get a lot of dislikes, but it is what it is. I'm going to continue to read it as I do, because uh, when the tower is here, it always has an instance of producing some sort of effect, okay? It could be the Ukraine-Russian war that is still ongoing. Something going on here, all right? There's a lot of, um, you know, horrendous things. It could be on a local level where, you're, you know, your community is experiencing a lot of, you know, things that weren't experienced before, like, you know, high crime. It could be, you know, murders, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's in the news on a daily basis. So anyway, that's the tower. Let me get off of that energy here. Now we have the magician. This too will take down some of the tower's energy. It comes right after it. Positive side is manifestation. Okay, what is it that you want, Cancer? What is it that you desire? Is it a new job? Is it a new relationship? It does mirror the new, uh, the, the lovers here. Okay, do you want to, you know, move? Do you want to change jobs? Um, build a family, start a family, whatever. Throw those prayers, affirmations, and mantras out there to the universe. The universe always listens, but stay in alignment to um, those prayers, those affirmations, and those mantras because we get tested to see if we really want or desire what we're throwing out there, okay? And not just talking energy and putting it out there. Follow through. Always follow through. Consistency is very important. The negative side of... Um, 
The magician always say that there's people around us that could be around us that are trying to extract some energy from us, Cancer. These people are, you know, takers. They're not givers. They, all they do is take, you know. They could be family members. They could be romantic partners. They could be, you know, friends, co-workers, strangers in the street. Use your intuition to know the difference of being used. These are users, okay? Uh, a lot of people don't like to hear, you know, especially when I talk about romantic um partners and family members, <laughs> but they do. Anyway, the Prince of Pentacles is up next here. This is the job offer, the Knight of Pentacles contract offer. It could be, you know, cancer seeking some sort of, um, you know, financial independence. I know I am, or you already are. I know I'm not. Okay. So anyway, this is somebody um, that could be um, viewing you in terms of the attributes of this card here, cancer, as someone who is very dependable, reliable, uh, steady, stable, definitely a good money handler, but willing to um, lend any types of assistance if necessary. All the person has to do is ask. So that's a good card to have in the spread. Up next is the uh, Hermit. So some of us may be going into introspection mode, spending some uh, you know quiet time alone, just having a need to be by ourselves. Now this could be um, cancers who are into meditation, Cancers who just, you know, take a day off from work or whatever, maybe catching up on reading a book that you always wanted to read, taking a break from relationships and all those things. You're not going to stay in this mode too long because I always regard the hermit as something in terms of neutral energy. OK, so but if you do have to do some soul searching, um, you know, you may go within and then, you know, you come out and always arrive at the answers uh, that you went within to see. OK, in a clearer perspective. Following the um, Hermit, now we have the Moon. Okay, so the Moon is here. So, <laughs> and guess what? Because I'm laying these cards down sequentially as if, you know, I was not on camera and you would see just my hands and stuff, it sits right underneath the Lovers. So, someone goes deeper, Cancer, in terms of their feelings and their affections towards you or you're doing that to them. Pay attention to your intuition. Trust the process of what you feel, what you get in terms of any energies, especially because on the negative end of that, um, you know, magician, this intuition here, which is going to help propel you and knowing things and discerning things that much greater. Uh, so you will benefit from that. Keeping a level on our emotions that is balanced. We don't want to um, be up emotionally high. We don't want to be emotionally down too low. OK, so the moon has a tendency to do that. So we always want to seek that balance. Um, there is a completion of energy that is moving away from us. Cycle of energy ends in the month of March and then the new energy opens up. The new energy, and it doesn't necessarily mean that the cycle of energy that's moving away from us was a negative. It doesn't always represent that. It just means that whatever we dealt with in terms of energy is just, whether it was positive or negative, is just moving away from us. But the opening energy of the new is definitely always positive, all right? So there's a phase of energy. What else can I say about the moon? Just revelations, you know, secrets coming to the surface, likes and crushes, possibly, you know, um, expressing themselves. And definitely for those who are already in existing uh, partnerships and whatnot, like I explained before, that you could be, you know, going deeper in terms of your feelings and affections towards them. Keep in mind that this is an open general reading. This is not a love reading. So it could be family, definitely romantic partners. It could be friends. All right. So that's the moon's aspect. Up next now we have the five of cups. So the five of cups is here. This is usually sadness or being handed a disappointment. Now it may not be you. Underneath the tower it may be significant for somebody. And um, it may not be you, Cancer. It could be a child of um, Cancer. Always pick up children with the five of cups specific specifically. I'm sorry. Could be a romantic partner, could be a friend, all right? However, the energies of the Five of Cups, if it does express itself at all, is going to be short-term, temporary. After the Five of Cups, now we have the Nine of Cups. So things get better. This is the yes answer to all romantic questions. It's not an even number of Cups cancer, but what you give, you're going to get back. Star card. I equate this energy with that of the star card. Again, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Whatever you're hoping for. Remember I told you about the 
uh, manifestations and the desires on the positive end of the uh, magician. It may be realized in the month of March. That could be that relationship. That could be that, you know, career change, job change. Uh, could be, you know, purchasing home, relocating to a different area, whatever that is. It is the yes card. So social networking too comes underneath the nine of cups. So expansion in terms of uh, whatever your social uh, media is in terms of exchanges of energy of communication. So it could be family members, could be online dating. It could be, you know, looking for work. It could be, um, you know, running your business. And maybe that's what you do. You run your business online. Very favorable. Up next is the Ten of Pentacles. So money is looking good for us in the month of March. Okay, this is a card of abundance. Um, even number of uh, Pentacles here. So, you know, equally what you give, you get back. For those Cancers who are still single, you're very independent here. You're taking care and providing for yourself. For those who are already in partnerships, you're taking care of each other's needs, being nurturing. This is a card of inheritance. This is the card of large sums of money. For the cancers out there, maybe a month where, you know, you take your risk and, and, you know, play the lottery or gamble a little bit, big money coming in, okay? If it is the absence of money, and it sits underneath the uh, Prince of Pentacles, by the way, too. If it is the absence of money, again, you're just feeling abundant for all the things that you do have that are generated in your life at that moment. That could be a family, that could be a relationship, that could be, a, you know, the job that you always wanted, the home that you always wanted to live in, or the community that you always wanted to live in. So you're feeling good. Following uh, the Ten of Pentacles in the very last card here for you, Cancer, we have the Judgment card, Major Arcana, the Judgment card. So things that are hidden in the dark, it mirrors the moon, uh, come to the light. So again, revelation, some things that you discover about yourself you didn't know before. Uh, could be positive, could be negative, but uh, also some things that you discover about others can be positive or negative. The most important thing here is that you're spiritually going to be watched over in the month of, um, you know, March, spiritually uh, guided. So again, pay attention to your intuition. So, you know, making sure that whatever is going on, however, for us in the month of uh, March, that we're not using this judgment card against ourselves, you know, judging ourselves, being critical towards ourselves, being harsh towards ourselves. You don't want to pass that energy off to other people because this is the karma card, Cancer. What you put out there, you're going to get back. All right. So always maintain positive thoughts of yourself and, you know, those thoughts that are positive of others in terms of connections. And you should be okay. In your shadow energy here, we have the Seven of Cups. You got the double whammy here. I always talk about the Seven of Cups in the moon when somebody goes deeper in terms of their feelings and affection towards you. Well, and some of you may be experiencing that wholeheartedly in the month of March. Okay, so you got Seven of Cups and you got the moon. And the moon sits right underneath that lovers. Opportunities uh, may be open for those who, spe you know, specifically romantically, are looking to connect with someone new. This is a romance card, relationship card. Um, just making sure that you are paying attention, Cancer, to your intuition so that if there are options that do open up or are available to you, you are choosing and selecting the right choice and option for you, okay? Seven of Cups. After Seven of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands. So some of us are going to be busy doing things. Could be work-related matter. Could be anything related to family situations, you know, romantic relationships, could be platonic friendships as well. Having to have the energy to do whatever it is that you need to do or execute on in the month of March, whether it's planned or something that comes up along the way. Then the final card is our King of Cups. King of Cups is the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive, um, intuitive. So, you know, you have a lot of energy here uh, requiring you to pay close attention to your intuition. Always trust the process of energy of what you feel and what you get. Go, you know, go with the gut instincts and the voices that you hear. Cancer, those are your own personal energies trying to grab your attention so that you are making the right choices and decisions for yourself moving forward. All right. So all kings and queens represents relationships, sexes, ages and genders for me. And this is what I have for you. So generally, um, in spite of the tower's presence here, this is looking pretty good and you know, don't forget that the lovers and the moon is going to take down the energy as well as the judgment and the magician. So you have one, two, three, four, 
um, five. You have five major arcanas here in this spread. So that's very powerful. No, I stand to be corrected. One, two, three, four, five. You have six because I've excluded the hermit. So you have six major arcanas here. All right. So this is some intense energy here. And it's just me potentially reading the uh, cards for you, Cancer. Take what's necessary. Leave the rest alone. Have a great month ahead. Be safe in all that you do. Be well. Keep smiling for me. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.